Hello there guys, hello hello and welcome back to yet another video, I'm your host Madnek as always and this is our Condition Thief. Now people have been asking me a few questions about preparations uh, in fights against champions, uh, any champions basically. I just solo the Commissar, people are, are just showing up and they're just like, where the hell is the Commissar? Commissar is dead, <laughs> he's not here, but never mind. But the question, so people ask me about preparations, what utilities do I, do I use on specific champions, what uh, traits I go for in specific uh, against specific champions, uh, the rotation mid-fight, which I'll show at the end of this uh, video, uh, with live commentary uh, mid-fight, of course. And I uh, asked me as well about runes, undead runes versus noble runes. Now, right now, with the... Dokoi Cake, which gives me condition, uh, uh, sorry, 40% of condition duration and 70 condition damage, that's the Koi Cakes, and the Master Tuning Crystals, which gain condition damage equal to 6 of my toughness and gain condition damage equal to 4 of my vitality. Uh, since we are going for full uh, dire stats, that just, you know, a huge buff. So, right now, I have 1938 condition damage, okay? And uh, that's without my buffs. My buffs and uh, my boons, whatever you want to call them, they're, they're not in the calculation right now because as you can see, I don't have those. So, yeah. Also, oh, by the way, just uh, out of uh, place note, just so you know, those uh, favor, glorious favor things, they stack. I don't know if you know it. So, if you use them a few times, you can stack it up to eight hours. So if you are doing a lot of SPVP or TPVP, just click that a few times, you'll stack them up and you don't need to forget about them for a few hours until, you know, whatever you do in SPVP or TPVP, whatever, does matter. Uh, except for that, what I wanted to say, oh yeah, the Undead Runes. So Undead Runes, the 6th rune will give me 5% toughness become a condition damage, okay? So toughness, I have over 2000, okay? So that means I gain 100 condition damage just from the 6th rune right here. Okay, that's without any might buffs, uh, any might stacks, anything. So with that, that means uh, 100 condition damage. That is, it's a little bit more even. So that is about 3 stacks of might. Constant 3 stacks of might that I have on myself. An invisible, con you know, constant stack stacks of might, of course, because it's just a buff that you know, does not relate really to the might buff. Now with the noble runes, the noble runes increase the duration of my might stacks and, uh, you know, they, they last longer instead of 10, they last like 16 seconds or whatever. And every time I use a heal, they give me three stacks of might, which are those 105 uh, condition damage, yeah? Uh, which I gain from, uh, from my toughness right now. So it's up to you. If you're if you know that you're sometimes sloppy on your rotation and you you know that you will screw up at some point of your rotation or you might screw up at some point of your rotation, you're pretty po positive about it. I would advise to go for undead because those three, three you know, invisible three stacks of white, they're always there. You can have them and you just st keep stacking white uh, from dodging, from going invisible and from anything else that gives you uh, any stacks of might. Although with this build only two of them invisible you know ghost stealth and dodging that's the, the only two that's it uh, that's my advice to you but if you already have the noble runes and you're really having fun with them just have keep having fun with them you know they don't have to like oh madnik said you, you, you should replace them blah, blah, blah. right madnik madnik has opinions you know you you are entitled of your opinions and your own tests so whatever you know do it for you then go for it now, but the traits, the traits are always the same with the uh, Madnik Syndrome. It's 30 in Shadow Arts, it's 20 in Acrobatics, 20 in Trickery. Uh, right now, because of the so many changes to Vigor and uh, they moved the Assassin's Reward to the third uh, tier here, if I'm not mistaken. What, what was the yeah, Assassin's Reward third tier? They buffed the healing on it a little bit, but they moved it to the third tier. In my opinion, it, it's not worth the 30 points in Acrobatics. I prefer the 30 points in Shadow Arts because of uh, Hidden Assassin and because of uh, Shadow's Rejuvenation, which is, in my opinion, by far superior. Uh, that's my opinion, though. And that's what matters, right, in those videos? My opinion, because that's why you're tuned in, basically. But, yeah, so what do I actually keep myself... How do I keep myself up? I use Shadow Protector. Shadow Protector will grant stealth to an ally, and uh, which means that once they get the, that stealth, 
that will gain a regeneration for 12 seconds. Now, those 12 seconds uh, will last even if they break stealth, okay? Which means even if I'll stealth myself right now, I'll gain the regen and this will last even if I'll break stealth. Now, this is uh, this can be a very smart play uh, on your part because uh, let me just explain it really quickly first in the traits so I can gain shadow protector right and I can gain uh, from the rejuve also a healing okay so it's double healing although this one heals me only while I'm stealth and this one heal me er er any anytime it's up right doesn't matter stealth or no stealth so this is like a small heal over time so to speak let's try it on uh, on this guy right there come on come up here right so I'm gonna test it on this guy no, I want you to come up here. Come on. A breaking line of sight. So you could come here. No? It does not want to come here. Alright. I'll go to you then. Right. So let let him attack me. Right? I'll attack him as well a little bit. Right. Come on. Attack me. You're, you're not attacking me, mate. You're dying and you're not attacking me. Okay, there you go. Right. So let me use heal. Right? So again, you see the double heal? One is from uh, rejuvenation, one from uh, re regeneration. Now the regeneration, re the regeneration will keep healing me. But if you do like this, bam! You see, as soon as it was about to run out, I hit stealth again, and I gained the regeneration again. And this is how you can keep the regener the regeneration all the freaking time up, like this. Boom! You see, regeneration just keeps being up. And combine it with re rejuve, and if you keep the full duration of stealth, whoops. Right, bam. Let me just uh, clear the the area, so to speak. All right, everyone dies. Why you no die? You will die from caltrops. I won't damage you. You will just die from caltrops because caltrops are more overpowered. Yes, you will still die from caltrops. Bam, you dead. You see, caltrops overpowered. <laughs> right. Please don't nerf Caltrops serving the net. Please don't. Oh, why would you come? Freaking hell. Why? 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 What have I done to you? I don't even know you. Freaking go away. Die. Bastard interrupting. Right. So you saw how I play the Caltrops uh, with the combination of the Needle Trap as well. I trapped like three mobs over there, I think. Which means three mobs got poisons. Three mobs were stuck in my cult shop. Three mobs got ga gazillion bleeds on them. Uh, and if I would like swap into my death blossom, I would spread even more bleeds and they would be dead even faster. Okay? This is just another thing that I, I'll, I'll speak in, in a second about. So yeah, rege re regeneration. Keep, keep it up always at all, at all costs. Uh, not all costs, but keep it up always. It will keep you alive. Okay? Just just a, a little tip, if you can, just look at your timers, okay? Just look at your timers, keep an eye always on your initiative. Like, if you're if you're working on your death blossom, right? You're burning, burning, burning your initiatives. And I see my steel is getting ready, right? It's off cooldown in like 5 seconds or whatever. Then I'll just chill. I'll just chill. I'll just uh, run in circles around my target. Uh, drop a lot of strike on it, okay? So it, I would put a condition on it still. And swap as soon as I can. Cloak and Dagger Steel, okay, so I'll gain Stealth, I gain uh, the, the buff on the Steel, it might be a Goo, which is a freaking great thing, it might be any other condition uh, buff, or it might be uh, a boon that, uh, what do you call it, Chaos Storm, whatever, I don't freaking remember, it, it's the thing that you steal from uh, Mesmer's, that b basically gives you like gazillion buffs, so... That it might be that as well, and while in stealth, I just spam the the sneak attack combination with skull chops, blah, 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 whatever. Uh, I'll show you the rotation later, like I said. Now, now let's focus on this. So, shadows embrace is, in my opinion, it's a must. Th those those three things are must for me. Okay, I never change them. Power of inertia, I will never change it. Might stacks, like I said, gazillion times already. Now, vigorous recover, since vigor has been nerfed. To, to the fushizzles, so to speak. Now, Vigor lasts six, six seconds. It used to last like 10, which is really painful. And Vigor is basically your uh, dodging meter regeneration, okay? So, let us let me explain to you. Like, I dodged. I dodged again, right? can dodge it another time. Now, I'll show you how fast it will regen. You see, with the Vigor. See? 
It 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 just regen instead of one tick, it just ticks twice. Uh, as long as the vigor up okay now I gain vigor uh, from my heals and with this build also from my from my uh, stealing ability culture of the small culture up. I use dodging as an offensive ability as much as I use it as a defensive ability yes I dodge to avoid attacks but I use also dodging for stacking might and I al also use dodging for culture ups which is both of them are offensive so that, that's a win-win situation and the last trait which is Bountiful Thief uh, the main reason why I use it is the Vigor of course and the, their other, their other op, uh, you know good thing about Bountiful Thief is when you reap off two boons of your uh, of your uh, enemies and you grant them to yourself and your allies now reaping the boons is is beneficial to you not because you take those boons to yourself and you by that you improve yourself because if the mob has like 10 stacks of might and you use it and I used it a few times already I would not get the those 10 stacks I just get one might and it just removes it from him and this is the best part because I I don't it's it's not as as much as I care getting those boons it's it's more that I care about the the enemy or the the champion not having them which means if he does not have 10 stacks of might, I don't get a massive hit in my face, okay? And this is the point, that I don't want to get a, a big hit in my face, so get, I, I don't want you to have those stacks of might, or I don't want you to have uh, the, that critical damage, or I don't want you to have to block my attacks, or anything else, okay? Anything that benefits my target, I don't want it there. I just want it to steal it away from him if I can. So Bountiful Thief is definitely a really good thing, combined with the vigorous recovery of course don't use it at the same time because it, it will just uh, reset it uh, the timer or I'm not sure if they stack even I mean if you care just test it out and you'll figure out okay now about the foods already explained koi cakes and uh, master tuning crystals uh, utilities I always use withdraw it's like I said a gazillion times already it's 15 seconds it's really fast it's always there when I need it almost er er when I need it uh, immobilized shield and crippled are gone once I use it. It gives me evade, which means a dodge. It's almost a one second dodge, which means what happen whatever happens in that one second, I don't give two craps about it because I don't get hit. So, sure, whatever. And with this build, it also gives me vigor. So I gain vigor every 15 seconds, which is freaking awesome because I do use withdraw a lot. Now, also, as I showed in the previous uh, videos, uh, the forward withdraw trick so I can actually withdraw either backwards forward to the side whatever however I want so it, it is a really good get away or get forward or get backwards trick and utility to use and it's only on 15 seconds cooldown why the hell not use it yes the healing is not as big as uh, what was it hidden hiding shadows but you know it's still good and why not use it Cow chops will be always on my uh, on my utilities bars and needle trap combined with cow chop like I showed before just root it like uh, immobilize three targets insta inside the cow cow chops put poisons on all of them stacking bleeds on all of them because they're stuck in cow chops so the combination of those two is almost I I know it's it, there there are no other options to use. Because if you, let's say you go for Spider Venom, okay? Spider Venom, uh, with Ricochet, you can spread it to up to three targets, right? If, if the, the game decides to, to roll the, you know, the number of you spreading, spreading it. And if not, then you just stack poisons on one target, okay? But the cooldown on it is 45 seconds and it does not have any other condition except for poison. This one offers me two condition, which means I can immobilize my target as well while in culture. Uh, scale Venom, it's not as strong as it is in PvP. It's not as strong as in PvE, and it has 42, 42, sorry, 45 per seconds uh, cooldown. You could say roll for initiatives, which is really good, but it's 60 seconds cooldown. Not the biggest fan. Uh, Shadow Refuge is really good for, you know, uh, long fights or if you're low on regeneration, you really want to back your healing up, definitely go for that. I, I, I'm preferring to go more on more offensive way because of my rotation and because I rely on stealth so much and I can re-stealth almost instantly and not get any damages on my face. 
So, you know, I just go a little bit more offensive. If it's a single target champion, then I'll go for uh, Thieves Guild. And if it's a champion that summons adds, like the spiders that they summon adds, and I don't remember which other ones that I fought that also summon adds, I think almost the, only the spiders so far. I'm not sure, whatever. So if, if they spawn adds as well, whatever champion it is, Dagger Storm would be a good choice as well. And it has like a, you know, it, this is one is three uh, three minutes cooldown. This one is one one minute and a half. And this one will also the dagger storm will also give uh, applies bleeds on everyone. It does the, the initial damage, and it gives you stability, which means you cannot be c controlled, you cannot be feared, you cannot be knocked down, etc., etc., etc. You cannot be dazed. Blah blah blah. Whatever the you, you know utility says over there. The the tooltip. Uh, and just for the last traits that I usually change if. I need it but the only two main utilities that I will use is ambush for more offensive or more aggressive approach to summon an extra thief or signet of agility uh, which basically it's to remove conditions if my uh, go to stealth remove condition is not enough then definitely signet of agility and it refills my endurance which is really really important for me like I said I use dodging as offensive and defensive utility uh, ability I mean so yeah I I avoid damage I apply damage this is dodging is wonderful mechanics and it's a must in, in the rotation sometimes I dodge even when I don't need to dodge from damage like I there are no there is no damage incoming in my face and I will still dodge because I apply cold chop and because I get a stack of might so dodge is is just becoming so uh, so uh, essential to your build is that how you say it essential so important to this build and this rotation that you you will just use it uh, so many times and so much and that's why vigor is so important to this build and that's why I gone for two traits and in, uh, in you know to buff my vigor because like I said dodging is really really important for me uh, either than that like I said you can go for roll for initiatives you can go for shadow refuge or you can go for blinding powder anything else is in my opinion a waste of time but that's my opinion you know so in any case I will queue up the the video of the commissar the, like I said I will down it to like 8% or something and then someone jo joins into the fight. I don't know who that was but I don't care. And I'll just give you live commentary mid-fight. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. If this video helped you in any way, please like this video, comment about whatever you want. If you have any more questions then leave a comment below as well. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. It's free guys. It does not cost you anything. And if you really really enjoyed it and you know other thieves that might want to try anything else than the meta build that everyone thinks that it's the only build that you can play and have fun with it many thieves that i've shared my build with tried it enjoyed it and they stayed conditions for a long long time because it's a much more fun build in my opinion and there's opinion because it has much more mobility it's more flexible build, it's more survivable build, and you still do the damage and you down your champions like anything else. So, share this build and this video to your friends, family, and even your neighbors, whatever. Hope you enjoyed the commentary and see you guys later. Bye bye! Alright, so we start with Cloak and Dagger and Steel because we need the extra thing. You summon two thieves, drop the cult shop, fire at it, needle trap, and drop the goo. Now in Death Blossom, while I spread the Death Blossoms on his face, while you do it in the goo, you will spread as well confusion to everyone, which is freaking awesome, and it's great, basically. So even if you'll get some damages in your face, it's okay. Now you can see that I use dodging as well, uh, like I've said before, a defensive ability as an offensive ability. You could see the target was standing over there in my cult shop, with the small cult shop of the dodge, drop the big cult shop, I get knockback here, but it's okay, I'll just stealth myself and drop the middle trap because I can, basically. You can see I trapped there two or three targets, I think two, and just keep on doing that. I'll try to stun him because it's annoying me, but it does not get stunned or dazed, whatever. Summon a thief here and just keep on doing the, the death blossoms to apply more bleeds. I need a heal here because I did some damage to myself because of the confusion. I stealth myself, I burned the stealth here for the double heal, and I dropped the cult shop, 
waited out, you know, cloak and dagger steal, another uh, five shots, needle trap, dodge again. You can see that I used the dodging, like I said, stacking might and apply uh, the conditions from the cult shops, from the small cult shops, as well as avoiding damage, of course, but that's, you know, it's, it depends on the situation. Like over there, I dodged the damage and I applied cult shop, which is freaking great. Heal myself again. I'll cloak and dagger here again because hey, why not? And steal as well. I'm getting the, the crappiest uh, thingy here. It, it does not do anything except for some damages. It just knocks me down. But whatever. Uh, you know, it's a useless ability, but we need to burn it down. So we will free it for another uh, ability that we can steal. But this is it. Just keep on death blossoming, dodge when you can as offensive and a defensive. Swatch the pistol dagger, cloak and dagger, five shots. Someone will join in here in the mid fight here to help me out, although I don't really need it, but whatever. Sure, there you go. And this is the rotation, guys. This is a more offensive approach, like I've said, because I'm using my, my extra thief here. Sticking this freaking champion in the cult shop with the needle trap is a really big important thing. Because you will do so much damage with it, it's it's just crazy. Crazy, I'm telling you. So I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join me in the next things, guys, the next videos. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.